Hello everyone, our walk for today is to understand why some objects float and some objects sink. What would happen if you tried to walk on water? Would you be able to? No, of course you wouldn't, but why? Today we're going to try and find out why some objects float and some objects sink. Do all materials sink when you put them into water? Have a think about the items below. Will they sink if you put them into water? Test them and record them on your table, which you'll find on the website. Pause here and have a go. Experiment time. Pause here and go and get what you need, but don't worry if you haven't got everything, you can just watch me do it. Let's do this together. Get a jug of water and an egg. Drop the egg into the water. What do you notice? That's right, the egg sank straight to the bottom. Is there a way that we could make this egg float? Let's have a go at trying to make an object which sank float. Step one is to fill the jug full of water. Step two is to add some salt, about five tablespoons. Step three is to stir the mixture well with a spoon. Once you've done this, you need to put the egg into the water. And step five is to watch the egg float round. Pause here and have a go with your own equipment. Why does the egg now float? Well, before you added salt, you could have tried many different ways of putting the egg into the water. But the same thing would have happened each time. The egg would have sunk to the bottom. But when we added salt, it changed how thick or dense the water was. If an object is denser than the liquid in which it is placed, then it will sink. By adding salt to the water, we've made the salt water denser than the egg. So now the egg floats. Why not try to find out if any of the other objects that sank in the water will float in salt water? Some objects will still sink, even in salt water. Why do you think this is? For more information, watch this clip and check out our website for all the slides and the science behind it. Bye everyone.